in this video i'm going to show you how to create a job application form just like this one without wasting further time let's get started with the step-by-step -step tutorial having open word the first thing i do is enter the name of the company Diku pages web hit enter then i enter the name of the form employment hit enter next i insert a table i go over to insert i click on table i click on insert table so that i add the exact number of columns and rows i want number of columns will be four and then number of rows will be five then i go ahead and click on ok to insert the table in the first row first cell i enter personal information Down here, I enter name, followed by address. In here, I enter city, followed by state, followed by zip code. Here, I enter phone, email, coming down, if selected for employment are you ready for a background check awesome next let's go ahead and format the table so i'm going to hold here i move it like this i do the same thing here and finally the first row i'm going to highlight everything then i go over to table tools and the layout i click on merge that is merge cells in order to make the whole cells to become one i do the same thing for the second row highlight it click on merge cells finally i made the last row merge cells next i insert a new table insert table insert table number of columns will be three and number of rows will be three i enter position going down position you are applying for next i have available start date and finally decide pay i'll rearrange the table i made the top row layout made cells in here i enter employment desired Then I go ahead and make the whole of this. Perfect. Next, I insert a new table. I click on insert table, insert table. Number of columns is going to be five, so I leave it. Number of rows will be six. I click on OK to insert the table. I enter education, school name yes attended okay here i'll enter location so i just cut this off i paste it in here next degree received and finally major i'll rearrange the table Then I go ahead and make the first row layout merge cells. The final table I click on insert 
insert table number of columns will be four and number of rows six click on ok uh, enter references name title company phone i'll rearrange the table i go ahead and make the first row layout my cells now i'm done inserting my tables next i go ahead and format my work so the first thing i have on top is the name of the company i highlight it and i'm going to go ahead and increase the font size to 20 application form i highlight it and i increase it to 14. i can also make them bold next i select the table right here just hover on it then i click on the cross icon right here to select the entire table i go over to layout under table tools and i'm going to go ahead and increase the height of the rows like this so i will make it 0 0.4 inches maybe 0 0.5 will do awesome this is clean okay i also needed to make these rows here so I click on my cells so that there will be enough room for the email. Next, I select the first cell on top. Then I go over to table design. Under shading, I'm going to go ahead and choose this blue. Then the font color, I will change it to white. Oops, I need to highlight it. And I change it to white. I'll make it bold and I'll increase the size to 14 i'll go back to layout and i'm going to go ahead and choose align center left perfect i also want to provide some answers right here so i click in here hit enter then i'll say yes i provide in that space and say no i'll go ahead and insert a square shape so i choose rectangle then I draw the first one right here. I'll have a duplicate of it. So what I do is just point on it, hold down control plus shift key on the keyboard. Then I move it to this location to have a duplicate so that it will also be in the same line. Awesome. I select this table like this. And I go over to layout under table tools. I increase the height to 0 0.5 inches next i highlight position under table design i choose the shading to be blue next i go over to home font i increase it to 14. and the color is going to be white i also make it bold i go back to layout then i choose align center left i also need to provide additional information here so I click at the end, hit enter. So I have full time. Provide some space. Part time. Provide some space. And then temporary. So what I do is I'm going to copy this box right here. I'll just point on it. I press down control key on the keyboard. And I move it right here. Now I'll hold down Control Key plus Shift. Then I move it here to have a duplicate, so that it will also be in straight line. Similarly, I do the same thing for this one. Awesome. Next, I select this table. Then I go over to Layout. I increase the height of the rows to 0 0.5 inches. Okay, I think it will enter into the second page we don't need that i'll take it back to 0 0.4 inches and i'll do the same thing here 0 0.4 0 0.4 so let me quickly increase this one to see if it will fit well 0 0.4 okay i'll show you how we can fix this so that it will fit in one page 
now let's further format this table so i highlight this text first of all i choose align center left then i go over to table design i choose shading to be blue next i go to home the font size i increase it to 14 it's going to be bold and i choose white i do the same thing here so it will be bold 14 white don't worry it will show as i come over to table design shading to be blue layout i choose align center left now we are done formatting our tables and you see that the last row on the last table has entered into the second page we don't need that so what we do is scroll to the top click right here then we have this row right here so i point in the middle of the gray area and the white area like this so that i'll get these two headed arrows i move it up like this i still have two pages as you can see so i can do the same thing at the bottom part so i hover here click then i move it down like this i now have one page perfect if i want i can also add a logo for the company so i go over to insert pictures this device i have my logos here i will just select this one then i click on insert you start as mess up everything from here it will be difficult to move it to the location i want so what i do is i go over to wrap text and the picture format then i choose in front of text then i can reduce the size and i can also move it to whichever location i want like this perfect and now i am done designing my job application form and you can save your form as a template so that you'll be able to use it over and over again to do that i have a video link in the description down below that will show you step by step as to how you can save your word document as a template if you are looking for more form design ideas make sure you stick around to watch any of the two videos on your screen right now keep watching and i'll see you inside any of the two videos